go to your academic advisor or counselor, tell them your intended majors, intended major, I say majors because sometimes you could be an undeclared student, but hey, this is what I'm trying to do. I don't wanna declare yet. Undeclared means that you haven't chosen what you wanna do um, in regards to the work which you're studying. So I was undeclared for two years. It actually backtracked me a year because I was in, in the designated classes that I needed to be. But I was taking a little bit of everything, but I found out that business was for me and that I was actually like really good at selling stuff, communicating my thoughts to people when it comes in regards to products and services. So that's something that I decided to do. But the reason why I was able to be so successful is that when I went to my academic counselor day one, she said, look, if you wanna be a business major, here's a schedule, here's a book of all the classes. Like it wasn't online, like we did it the old way. She's like, here's a book of all the classes that were offered and this is the classes that you need. So you could either take this class or this class. So you go to the book and you're like, okay, they got 12 classes I could pick that's gonna fill up this category, right? So if you're paying to get an education, do you want that counselor to give you a class that you primarily might not like? Or do you wanna be able to pick the classes that, well? because ultimately you do pick the classes, but the counselor will give you ideas like, oh, look, this class, we need to fill it up. Do you wanna be a part of this class, is, is this? But you're like, no, I want that photography class. It fills in this elective that I need and I wanna learn photography, I'm paying, I wanna get that education. When you start, so when you do that, you guys will be on track. You guys aren't wasting your time. So time management, very important. Also, you guys will get something called a syllabus the first day you guys attend the class. And this syllabus tells you what the teacher expects from you, how many days you commit from the class, their, their office hours. Office hours are basically like what days you could go outside of the classroom and speak to professor to get help, the days you have to take tests. They even, one thing that tripped me out about college, y'all, was I didn't know I had to buy Scantrons. Like yeah. that was something yeah. new. So you actually have to, slum school. Yeah. So you buy the Scantron for like the official test. So you have to like, so depending on the school, you have to figure out what it is you need. But on the syllabus, it will give you everything, every tool that you need for this class. One thing that I do to prioritize my time is my phone is my best friend. When I get that syllabus, not like a week before that assignment is due, I put a reminder and I say, hey, this assignment is due. Like I talk, like if I'm talking to myself, hey, this assignment is due, chapters, read this, but I do it before, not the day is due. Like I don't need a reminder at 12, uh, 12 like at noon, and I'm like, oh, I gotta turn this assignment in in eight hours and I didn't even start on it. Didn't even read the chapters. So you wanna prioritize your time in that aspect. So use tools that are gonna guide you guys to success. Have a little calendar in your dorm room. Just put, don't forget today homework. Say you're gonna go every Tuesday to the library. When you start making these little uh, changes to your schedule and you guys start doing them constantly, like you guys are gonna find time to go to those parties, like you said, to join clubs and organizations, fraternities or sororities. So you guys wanna create opportunities like I said, and those opportunities you need to uh, are created once you do what you're there to do, which is becoming a student, and then everything else is uh, secondary.